Hello, it's me, Cress, um, aka Lady Taka. Um, so I haven't done a rummage sale video in a few weeks. Um, last weekend we had our own rummage sale, so didn't get to any even on Friday, and I also worked that weekend, so, um, and the weekend before I only found like one thing, so I'm not enough to do a whole video for. But I had a pretty good weekend for the August 15th and 16th. So, to start, we'll, it's an eclectic mix. Something I wouldn't normally buy is one of these uh, fun little things for kids. I don't have kids, but what I do have is a cute little spot in my office where I can put this behind the couch so when my client brings their kid along, we can distract them so we can talk for five minutes straight without the kids screaming. Because last weekend I had one kid playing with my little uh, cold turkey figure for five minutes that to figure that I'll keep her very entertained for a buck. Um, then I got an artist loft piece and that's a case but I got this cute little easel for a buck so sets up like that and there's even the extender so if you need extra support on the piece you can so I thought that was a good find and it all bends down to fit in its case although that bent the wrong way so there we go. Alright, again, eclectic mix of things. I found a cute little minion that was from Despicable Me 2, and his hand presses in. <laughs> so he was only a dime, so I picked him up, and he does sit very nicely, so he'll probably go on my shelf at home. This one is likely to go on my shelf at work. I have to clean up the front a little bit. The back actually looks whiter than the front. Got the little Snoopy thing. Snoopy all sleepy. And it says, I am allergic to mornings. So I have a shelf at work I don't have anything on yet. So that's probably going to go to work too. Um, and what was really funny was I remembered this triggered me to remember I bought a mug a couple years ago. Um, and it has Snoopy on this house and the other side says allergic mornings and I found that and right now it's acting as a change cut. Now some of these things I might end up in boxes when I do trades or giveaways. So um got these stickers for a dime of ghosts. You know, I like all things Halloween. They glow in the freaking dark. Um too light out now to show you, but they do. It even says so on the back. So Thought those were cute. At the same sale, I found this grow a pumpkin, which I will probably put in a box for someone, just because it's a cute idea. Um, this will likely end up in a box as well. Again, it's been Star Wars summer for me. I've been having an easy time, but this was a whole nickel, so I figured I'd rescue these cards. Um, I figured a worst case scenario, I could use them to craft with, but they're uh, more the episodes I'm not used to seeing movies. <laughs> I'm I'm for the original trilogy myself, but they repeat the cards a lot, so it's a starter pack though. So I figured I could rescue it for a nickel and find it a bad home. Yeah. And I rescued this from the free pile. It's just a tin that um I assume because it's Victor Tonics, it had a Swiss Army knife in it. Um but I am currently refurbing or redesigning anyway with like paint and paper um, a cabinet that used to be in my dad's garage and I figure I'll need little places to organize smaller things in the drawers so that'll be good. Then I found four CDs and again for eclectic they go range. Uh, Fiona Apple, I don't care that the little thing isn't there. They all came in cases though, but I'll take them all out. I have cases sleeves. Um, that's the one with Criminal on it, so that's why I picked up that. Then I got uh, Velvet Revolver, which this album is probably most famous for, uh, well one, the fact it's, you know, um, Guns N' Roses and uh, meets other bands, um, And but Fall to Pieces was the hit single off of that. Then I got Fat Boy Slim, and by the cover, you know the song Weapon of Choice is on here, because that was the most awesome video ever with Christopher Walken. And then finally, Black Sabbath, and this has some classics on here, 
Black Sabbath, Paranoid, War Pigs, Iron Man. Mind you, I have a few of these songs already on my MP3 player on my phone, but this hat had a pretty good mix. Alright. I grabbed this, even though I don't wear earrings, um, just in case I, I haven't really crafted earrings yet, but in case I do craft some, I will have a way to display them, and for a quarter to have on hand, that's good. Because if I wanted it, I would not find one for that cheap. Um... I found this really awesome stone egg. You'll see if my camera came off focus. See, on one side it almost looks like an egg yolk. On the other, there's all this striping, and it came with a stone stand as well. Um, that'll probably go to my office. But for two bucks, like I was at the Rock and Gem show the other week, and things that were half this size were going for like fifteen. So stay bounce. Alright, at that same sale that I got the other stuff, I got um, a tablecloth. This is a paper one, so it's probably a one-time use, but I figure if I do a craft show and I want something different on the table for a dime, who can go wrong on that? Then, at the same sale, I found the stone. The kid was selling some of his toys, so I don't normally buy Beanie Babies. But, who can resist creepers? Ironically, his birthday is not October 31st, it's October 18th. In your closet I will hide until the door is opened wide. You may think that I'll shout boo, but I just want to play with you. But, it's a skull, and I resisted other skull things at that sale, um, including like a skull candle holder. At the same sale, although looks like the little thing to hang off Mario here, it actually has a zipper back. So you can store like two pieces of candy maybe in there. It's really tight. But it's a real Nintendo Mario. Saved him for a cold. He doesn't look like he'll sit stably. But at another sale, I'm leaving it in the package because I'm probably going to send someone. But apparently it was in a Happy Meal. It's a cute little visor for Mario. But I'm probably going to send that on. But I will oh, spend a whole dime on it. Figured for anything else, it would be a great filler in a box I sent someone. Alright, and then my big find of the week, which I still don't know if any everything's here. I'm just going to lift the top up. Is Goonies the board game? So, I figured if worse came worse and all the pieces weren't here, I could craft with the pieces. But... Kinda has all the scenes from the movie in there of going underground. I don't even remember when this came out. But I figured if nothing else, the backs of the playing cards look pretty cool. So I could craft with those if not everything was here. It does look like some playing pieces are here. So you, you can be chunk. It's double sided, but I mean it's it's old school 1985 board game. So you get the little peg to put your thing on. But there's like little cutouts in here. And oh there's mouth already on his board. But I'll have to see. I don't there is a little manual on how you do it. So I I don't remember ever having this game as a kid. But I could not resist Goonies, especially with it being the anniversary year and everything. Um, but that is all I got this week. And hopefully my love with food box will arrive soon. Um, it said it would arrive by yesterday, but apparently the mail hates me. Um, but the other two things that I'm waiting for, um, well, Loot Crate will come as normal because I'm subscribed to that for a year. But I didn't get that many boxes because last month I paid for two more expensive boxes, like around $30 a piece, which were the Collectible Geek Animation After Dark, which I did get notice it should be shipping soon, but every time I click the track link in the last three days, uh, it hasn't tracked. I assume it'll get here before the tracking information even shows. And then I also ordered the Z-Box, but since that's come all the way from England, I'm waiting, and I, of course, I'm avoiding watching, like, um, some of my subscribers are in Britain, and I'm like, I know your video is already up, but I'm trying not to be, you know, peak. I've already got enough of a peak from the t-shirt, because they sent me that in an email 
you know, but the t-shirt's going to be awesome. It's Lost Boys. So, um, kind of go with the Goonies theme since they're all 80s movies. 86, 87 was a big year for me with movies and stuff. You know, you had Labyrinth, Roger Rabbit, and all those. Um, so, but not a bad haul for the week. Very eclectic little mix. Again, I don't normally buy a toy like this because I don't have kids, but I'm sure I'm going to make one little girl very happy every month as she can play a game while her mom gets her therapy. So, uh, thanks for watching.